incidence of developing breast cancer at a young age and suggests that more survivors may be affected than previously thought. I would now like to introduce Dr. Chaya Moskowitz, Associate Member and Associate Attending Biostatistician at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center to present her work. Thank you, Dr. Vogelzang. So multiple studies have shown before that women who were treated with radiation to the chest for childhood cancer have an increased risk of breast cancer. What's new about our study is first that we'll be reporting on the incidence of breast cancer using a substantially longer amount of follow-up than has previously been reported on. And second, that we're going to compare and contrast the risk of breast cancer in childhood cancer survivors treated with chest radiation to the risk of breast cancer in another well-known high-risk population namely women who are carriers of BRCA gene mutations. For this uh, analysis, we analyzed data from the Childhood Cancer Survivor Study and the Women's Environmental Cancer and Radiation Epidemiology Study. Both of these are large studies that have been funded by the National Cancer Institute. So on this slide, I'm showing the cumulative incidence or the risk of breast cancer by attained age. Let me first call your attention to the childhood cancer survivors. Women who are treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma tend to have been treated with high doses of radiation to a relatively large area of their chest. It's not surprising that we find that they have a high risk of breast cancer. However, the magnitude of this risk is very large. We find that by age 50, approximately 30% of women who are treated with chest radiation for Hodgkin's lymphoma have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Women who are treated for a childhood cancer other than Hodgkin's lymphoma using chest radiation have a reduced risk of breast cancer compared to the Hodgkin's lymphoma survivors. They tend to be a more heterogeneous group with respect to the radiation treatment that they received. They could have been treated with high doses of radiation to a relatively small area of their chest or, to more, or with more moderate doses of radiation to a very large area of their chest. If you compare both of these groups, however, to what we expect in the general U.S. population, that's the, the dark gray line here, you can see that both groups have a substantially elevated risk of breast cancer. If we look now at the women who are carriers of BRCA gene mutations, so not childhood cancer survivors, we find that they both have an ele bo both BRCA1 and BRCA2 carriers have an elevated risk compared to the general population. This is not surprising. It's, it's a fairly well-known fact. What is surprising, however, is we find that women who were treated with radiation to the chest for Hodgkin's lymphoma have a risk of breast cancer that is remarkably similar to the risk of breast cancer in women who are BRCA1 carriers. We also find that women who are treated for a childhood cancer other than Hodgkin's lymphoma using chest radiation have a risk of breast cancer that is quite similar to the risk of breast cancer in BRCA2 carriers. On this slide, I'm showing the risk of breast cancer by the dose of chest radiation with which the women were treated. The Children's Oncology Group recommends annual screening with a mammogram and breast MRI for women who are treated with 20 gray of radiation. That's the gray line here. We confirm that they have a high risk of breast cancer. What is remarkable here, though, is we find that women who are treated with more moderate doses of radiation, 10 to 19 gray, also have an elevated risk of breast cancer. According to the Children's Oncology Group guidelines, which are the standard of care in the United States and Canada, these women are not currently recommended for screening. And here I'm showing the risk of breast cancer broken down by the chest field, the field of radiation with which the women were treated. Okay, so what's surprising here is not so much the high risk of breast cancer we see in women who are treated with mantle field radiation. These are almost exclusively Hodgkin's lymphoma survivors nor is the reduced risk but still elevated um, risk of breast cancer that we find in women who are treated with high doses of radiation to smaller areas of their chest necessarily that surprising. What is quite remarkable, though, is that we find that women who are treated with more moderate doses of radiation to a wide area of their chest have a very high risk of breast cancer as well. So in summary, we found that women who were treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma using mantle field radiation have a high risk of breast cancer that is comparable to women who are carriers of a BRCA1 gene mutation. We also find that women who are survivors of a childhood cancer who were treated, uh, survivors of a childhood cancer other than Hodgkin's lymphoma who were treated with chest radiation have a risk of breast cancer that's comparable to women who are BRCA2 carriers. And finally, we found that women who were treated with whole lung radiation have a risk of breast cancer that is higher than has previously been recognized and may benefit from breast cancer surveillance strategies. 